hit my heart with the speed of light. Play on your harp, neon dragon, shimmering scales on your back. Growing up, we're told stories designed to instill fear in our minds. We are taught to not accept shiny red apples from strangers or go into the woods alone lest we encounter a big bad wolf. Best case scenario, these fears help us get through life without being poisoned or eaten. But most of the time, I think we let the fear of things we don't understand limit us. Because if we just find the courage to illuminate the dark places, they might turn out to not be so frightening at all. I've always had a hard time accepting what I don't know. I believe that with the right research, you can find the courage to conquer any fear. But I can tell you from experience that there are worse things out there than the witches and boogeymen of fairy tales. Things where the more you know, the more cause you have to fear them. I know now that courage isn't about being unafraid. It's about knowing when a danger is real and still doing what's right. You owe it to yourself to point your flashlight into the dark and see what you're actually dealing with. Because in most cases, knowledge will show you there's nothing to fear. And when it doesn't, it will give you the tools to defeat it. I am not afraid to face the dark of night. I am Linda Chanda, and I am a soul writer. Linda's basically a fangirl. When we got her model, there was no book there. And I was a bit worried that that would be too iconic to remove. So we wanted her to have a like a realistic body type that, that most of us have. When it happens to Linda for the first time, she freaks out. Because Linda's basically a fangirl. <laughs> I mean, we all are, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was just that we really wanted that to be a part of Linda as well. As, um, they lie within the circle of the moon, which uh, means that she gets these visions. Uh, it can be a pretty scary thing to begin with, to get these visions, because um, they often manifest themselves as um, dreams or nightmares and they're quite difficult to comprehend to begin with. So when it happens to Linda for the first time, she freaks out when she actually realizes that, oh my God, I have the power to see things that might happen in the near future. Linda's backstory, um, she grew up in Pakistan uh, and moved to Jorvik when she was about six or seven. A few years later, when um, she was in her teens, um, her parents were offered a great position at Oxford University in the UK and um, Linda really shocked everyone in her family by choosing to stay put in Jorvik um, with her aunt. And I'm very, very anxious to see what lies in store for Linda. I know that she's destined for great things.